Alrighty, hello guys, welcome me faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today I've decided that maybe we should actually start building a plane. Um, and the reason being, oh, oh. Alright, so we might have died there for a second, but don't worry about it. So, today we are going to be building a plane. Now, we're going to be building an airliner because I feel like, I don't know, I haven't built one in a while, so I felt like it was a good idea to do so. Uh, it is worth mentioning that I have stopped working on the giant land ship and I've stopped working on the torpedo boat because they are both actually on the workshop already. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this, try and build something nice, and um, yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, so I should mention I'm going to do this one a little bit differently to normal. I'm actually going to go ahead and build certain things and then show you guys what I've built. And then continue building and then show you guys what I've built, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and build some windows right now, try and put them all together, and then I'll show you guys the windows. So, let's do this. Okay, so this is our current situation with the windows. I'm not entirely sure I actually want this one to go here or whether I want it to go here. I'm kind of feeling like inwards makes more sense than outwards. Um, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't actually know. I feel like there makes more sense, so we're gonna go with it. Anyway, I'm now gonna go ahead and build some sort of, like, thing around this to try and make it look cool. And then I'll be back with you guys when I've done it. Okay, so this is currently what we have, and, uh, I'm feeling like some of it is a bit of an issue. Because, um, I don't know. Like, this bit right here clearly doesn't really belong like this. But if we go ahead and paint around it so it looks like it belongs, it might actually be A-OK. -okay. Uh, with that being said, I might actually go ahead and paint this guy as well, and paint a bunch of this too, to try and make it fit in just that little bit more. Which, honestly, I do feel like that is done, so I'm gonna go ahead and paint the inside as well, to also try and make it fit, and that's kinda cool. Yeah. Okay, so this is kind of where I've got it to at this point. I've gone ahead and built around the outside, and honestly, this bit at the back looks pretty good. However, going to the front like this actually seems like a bad idea. Especially with it only being one in the center, I kind of want it to be three. So I'm going to go ahead and modify this so it is three in the center instead, because I think that fits airliners a little bit better than just one. So, but yeah. I'm not very good at this ending these uh, little clip scenarios, am I? That was rubbish. Okay, so there we go. I've gone ahead and obviously made it three instead now, and honestly, that does look a hell of a lot better, so we're gonna keep it as such. Okay, so from here, I'm not entirely sure where to go with this. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we grab one of these guys, and we smash it onto there, maybe, like, I don't know, like this? Oh, there, okay, yeah, that makes sense, good. And then we're gonna have to, hmm... <laughs> hmm, I don't know, maybe go with one of these going forwards? But I feel like that's a little bit too steep, you know? I feel like that's too steep. Hmm. Yeah, you see, this doesn't actually look very good at all if we did it like this, so I kind of want to change it, but actually, maybe we can make it work. I don't know. Let's go ahead and do these guys across the front anyway. Grab one of those, put it on the underside, and build it essentially back in the way that we already have it, and hopefully all will go well, but I, I honestly think it's going to look kind of ugly, but we'll see. So go ahead and grab another one of these guys. There we go. Smash it onto there like so, and then build it in pretty much the exact same way, but going backwards. Uh, as it is on the front. So do that right there, go ahead and build this in, and I guess just sort of fix it into there, and hopefully that looks good. I don't know whether it does though, maybe. Yeah, I guess we can get away with this, I think it's fine. Okay, so I guess the final thing to do with this on the bottom is to actually go ahead and seal it off. So we're gonna go ahead and do this across the front end, there we go, we're then gonna go ahead and do... Oh, actually I can't do this piece because I need one of these, question mark? I don't know, uh, yes, let's go ahead and shove this onto there like so, good. And then we should be able to get away with just doing this going backwards, which I believe does actually fit in. Alright, nice, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, so I've gone ahead and spawned it in, and this is currently what it actually looks like. I don't think this is going to be too terrible, so we're going to go ahead and keep it, and try and come up with some other stuff to make this look better. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and extend this guy backwards to be as long as we want it to be, and then I guess we'll try and add windows and stuff like that into it and just make it look cool. Okay, so after building this backwards a little bit, I am realizing that I can't really have it not be round, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So we're gonna go ahead and try and make it round by adding this guy back on there like this, there we go, bringing that bit upwards to here, and then I guess, I don't know whether this is a good idea or a bad idea or whatever, but let's go ahead and do that right there, and then send it backwards from here, and there you go. It is uh, just a little bit more rounded uh, than it was gonna be, and honestly, I feel like that was a good addition. I don't mind that. That's cool. 
All right, so now it's time to do the back end. I genuinely don't know how I'm going to do this, but uh, we're going to go ahead and try it anyway. So let's just go ahead and send this bit backwards. I guess actually going upwards kind of like this, uh, but genuinely don't know whether that's the right way of going about this. Hmm. Okay, so I'm actually going to do it like this, where this guy sort of dies off almost straight away into the plane. Uh, and I think that's probably the best way of going about doing this, to be honest. So let's go ahead and build that into right there. And, uh, yeah, that's actually a-okay. All right, good. Um, I'm not very good with the backs of planes, so this is going to take me some time. But, um, yeah, I'll get to it. Okay, so it's taken me some time to get to this point right here, but I do think it looks... Uh, it looks rubbish, doesn't it? I don't know. I feel like I'm never very good at building the back ends of planes. Uh, but it is going to be longer than this, so maybe that's okay if we continue building it backwards. Uh, we might actually stand a chance of actually making it look alright. Um, but if I did something like this, maybe that's good. And then we could probably just do this. There you go. And then we could probably get away with just doing this again, maybe. And then that's the back end. Uh, but I don't feel like it's going up quickly enough, and I feel like it kind of needs to. So, I don't know how I feel about it, but let's go ahead and just seal this off here. And, I guess, uh, go ahead and do something like this right here, do this right there, and, I don't know, just box it off right here like this. I mean, it's not the best, but it looks okay. Alright, I've just wiped a jet exhaust on the back end, because, I don't know, if you guys have seen planes in real life, the APU is at the back. And uh, I guess we can pretend that this is just the APU section, uh, which is a bit strange, but there you go. If I just go ahead and attach that onto there like there, like that, uh, it might be fine. It might not be. Who knows? Anyway, let's go ahead and do this really quickly and do this so we get a little bit of uh, difference. And actually, let's go ahead and delete these guys. And we can probably fit it directly into there instead, which I think will make a little bit more sense to us. Uh, so go ahead and seal this off on the top. There we go. Seal it off right there as well. There we go. And then just whack it on there. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's ugly, but sure. Okay, so let's try and figure out, uh, I guess, uh, how to do the back end of this. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with the back end, but it needs to be something. <laughs> there needs to be something here. So this is what we are now trying to build. Let's go ahead and whack this onto there just like so. And do this going upwards because it just makes sense to do so. Uh, actually, lower it down by one, and or a little bit, I should say. And if I could fit another one on top of there, that'd be great. There we go. Okay, cool. So delete this, delete this, delete this, delete this, delete that. And delete this and this. And then essentially, go ahead and smack all this together, just like so. And now we have a tail fin. Do we like it? Do we not like it? I'm not sure. Um, I'm also thinking of just doing this. Uh, I don't know where from, though. Probably there. And deleting all of these guys. And then we'll attach them all together. Um, or we'll have like a, I don't know, like, um, I don't know whether the control surface will work if I do it this way. Uh, but if we have it on a pivot that matches this, I think that makes sense. No, I think I might actually just incorporate it with it. I think it makes it look a little bit uglier, but at the same time, um, I don't know. Everything I build is kind of ugly. Anyway, control surface, let's see what it looks like. Do -do 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 -do. Control surface large, go ahead and smack it on there. Yeah, if it was at an angle, I think it would look better. Uh, but never mind. So go ahead and shove this in, if I can. There we go, lovely. Um, yeah, okay, cool, cool. This is fine, this is this is completely fine. Let's go ahead and send this backwards one more, go ahead and put this guy in here like this, and there you go. Let's run it in, see what it looks like. I think it'll work. It needs to be a little bit more chunky, but other than that, it's good. Alright, so grab this right here, go ahead and do these two, there we go, awesome, and then go ahead and fill this guy in. We can then put that guy right there, that guy right there, and this guy right here, and then I think we can send it, uh, just like that. But again, this bit right here doesn't look as chunky as it should be, so let's go ahead and grab this, all the way down to there, go ahead and cut it, move it forwards to about, I don't know, there, I suppose, and merge it back together, and then do this. Bam. There we go. Okay, does that look cool? I think it looks better, so that's good. You know, I'd kind of like these windows actually to go up here, but there's no window that fits this shape, which is kind of unfortunate, but yeah, that's kind of what I want. Is there any way of me doing that? I don't think there is, which is kind of unfortunate. If I deleted that and I went straight with these guys instead, what does that look like? I mean, it works, but I think it does look better with, with an actual window there. So we'll keep it. But anyway, uh, we've built a tail end. Uh, now all I want to do is build in some sort of horizontal stabilizers as well. I don't know whether they should go down here or whether they should actually be positioned at the top. At the top seems to be kind of cool, uh, and I do kind of like the idea, but uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Hmm. 
Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and build it in, and we'll see what it looks like. Alright, so there it is, a little bit more done, and honestly, I do think that fits in quite nicely. I added the big bulge thing up the top, because I actually really like those on the tops when you do the T-junction thingamabobby. Um, I do think that looks pretty good. Now, what I want to do next is actually add the wings, so let me go ahead and do that really quickly, uh, and then I'll be back with you guys once it's pretty much done, actually. Alright, so I've added wings that are about the right length, to be totally honest with you guys, for this uh, entire creation, which is awesome. And you might be wondering, Matty, where are those engines actually gonna go? This is gonna be uh, jet engine powered, but the engines themselves are gonna go in a very strange place. They're actually gonna go on top of the wings. Let's go ahead and get those built really quickly. Okay, guys, you ready for this? We're gonna go ahead and show you guys in three, two, one, bam! Jet engines on top of the wings. How weird is that? It's it's kind of a very strange looking vehicle right now, but uh, I think it'll work. I think it'll be working really cool. Uh, what we're gonna do next is actually add a little bit of uh, depth to these wings. Obviously, they're only one block wide at the moment, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of a strut up there to try and fix this bit in, and then I might actually build something down as well, just to make it look a little bit more normal, I guess. Okay, so unfortunately, at the bottom, uh, there is only two wide, which is really annoying, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and have to deal with it anyway. So let's do one, two, three. Actually, no, 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 no. We might be able to get away with it just by doing this. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. Uh, there we go, nice. And on the other side, doing the same thing, but obviously the other way around. So do this, there we go, good. And attach it all together like this, and that's fine, I suppose. Uh, but we can get away with doing this as well, deleting all of those. Um, and then essentially grabbing one of these guys, doing this thing, and on the other side doing the same thing this way, there we go, and then attaching all this together, just like so, and like this, bosh, there we go, very nice. From there, we're gonna go ahead and build this out, uh, if at all possible, so grab one of these guys, turn it around, do this, and we're gonna go like this out into the wing. We're then gonna do the same thing on this end, build it out into the wing, just a little tiny touch like so, and then attach it all together, hopefully. I don't know how this is gonna go, but let's see. So if we do this, uh, and do this, bam, uh, it should look a little bit nicer than it did. And it does, so that's good. Okay, cool, so I've gone ahead and actually attached a line from the engine, uh, which is our fuel, which is good. Uh, and now what I'm gonna do is cut the engine, or cut the wings off. Uh, I say cut the wings off. Yes, no, that's what I'm gonna do. So let's go ahead and cut this right here and paste it back in. Go to the other side and do the same thing. So if I can go all the way over to the edge, go ahead and cut it and paste it. There we go. Um, all I'm gonna do from here is actually delete these guys. Actually, wait, we'll have two. So delete these guys right here. Delete these guys right here. Get ourselves some pivots and essentially just whack them on. So that's gonna go there. It's also gonna go there. We're gonna merge this guy with this guy, this guy with this guy, and the same on this side as well. There we go, and there we go. Nice. Okay. Airliner! Almost done, actually. Alright, so there you go. This is what it currently looks like. The wing is flexing upwards, which is nice. I might actually put some winglets on the end of this as well, because I feel like it suits the aesthetic of this a little bit, uh, and I think that'll be cool. So, let's do that next. Alright, there they are! We have some air- airlets? Winglets. We have some winglets on the edge of the wings now, which is pretty awesome, and now all we need is a way in, we need some landing gear, and then we need to fly this thing. That's- that's what I want to do. So, we're almost there. Okay, so this is my first time testing the doors, and there we go. That actually sort of works better than I was expecting, so that's good. And it works on the other side too, and I mean, I feel like they're a bit big, but other than that, they actually work quite nicely. So, I might actually shrink it down a little bit, maybe by one, and um, yeah, we could go with that, probably, maybe. I don't know. Also, I don't think we should have this bit go out with it. I feel like that should be a part of this. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and delete this side and do it that way as well. Okay, cool. So we should be able to get away with doing this guy right here, just like this. Go ahead and seal that off right there, and there we go. Okay, nice, yeah, I feel like this will actually work. Gonna go ahead and send all of that bit forwards. Gonna build this up to here, and okay, nice. This is gonna work. Let's go ahead and spawn it in really quickly. Let's see if the doors work properly now, and bam. Jump inside. Go ahead and try this one. There we go. Do they close is the question. They do in fact close and that is awesome. Nice. We did it. 
Alright, so I've gone ahead and put some make-do landing gear on this, and honestly, the front one will actually fold in if we got it to work properly, but uh, I've decided against it for right now. All I want to do is actually make this thing fly really quickly, and um, yeah, that'll be probably it for today. Actually, idea, let's go ahead and smack in some windows, and then we'll make it fly, and then we're good. Okay, windows have been added, as you guys can see. Let's go ahead and jump into this thing and see if we can actually fly it. Honestly, it hasn't taken me very long uh, to build this. I, I thought it was like kind of a cool idea of a video to just, I don't know, randomly try and build one. Um, it doesn't actually have any fuel in it at the moment, as you guys can see back there. There is nothing on the inside. But let's go ahead and start our engines, okay, which are on top of the wings. And let's see if we can actually fly this thing? I don't know if this is going to work, but let's see. So I'm just going to go ahead and floor it. Uh, our engines being where they are might be a bit of an issue, but let's see. No, okay, they are apparently not an issue whatsoever. Uh, which is crazy. That's insane. Damn, look at that. Nice. Um, it is also worth mentioning as well, I don't have any um, control surfaces for roll. I've got none of that. But um, this is kind of cool. It is very cool. Anyway, um, if you guys want to see more of this build, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys don't want to see any more, also let me know in the comments down below. And let me know how you thought about this video, or what you thought about this video. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time. Goodbye.